Hey, how's it going? And today I'm just going to show you how to create a basic trigger counter in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And what I'm trying to do is just start off with kind of baby steps where we're just doing one little function at a time and hopefully adding on to that over time. So we get one device working in verse and then we'll see what it does and then we'll create some logic in that and then we'll try to talk to another device in verse. A lot of things you can do already with the devices, but what the verse allows you to do is just to build in additional logic that might not be available with the devices. And that'll become apparent in the next couple of videos. I'm not gonna be doing a ton of these, but I'm just doing them as I see something that I think's useful. So anyway, we're gonna go into a blank project here and we'll just call this my project K and we'll go create. And it just takes a second to load up. I did notice when I boot up with this that this is running off of Unreal Engine 5.4. As soon as you get comfortable with one, the next version comes up. So we're going to delete the spawner because we don't need it. And then all we need for this is a trigger device. And this is a great device. It has, of all the devices in here, this is probably ha has one of them, the most wide ranging application. And then just by itself, it's it's almost the, a, a passive device. It, it's an event maker almost saying, hey, somebody stepped on me. And so there's sometimes there's not much you even have to do with this. It's on the receiving device that you're going to do something yeah we're actually not even going to change anything in here and we'll leave it visible in the scene so now we're just going to create a trigger counter that shows how many times this has been stepped on being able to have that functionality we can build off of that and start creating conditions of like it's been stepped on so many times then do this and so anyway what we're going to do is we're going to create a verse device so we just come up here to the verse explorer and we'll go right click here or left click excuse me and then right click to add a new verse file now one thing i i did notice is that because i'm cutting and pasting the code in for the trigger and this code you'll see it on the screen in just a minute here here where it says trigger counter that's the name of what the device should be called so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back in here to here and I'm just going to call this trigger counter. Now it's going to name it down here, but we're going to replace all this code anyway. So we'll just go create, save selected, and then it creates a new folder with the creative device in it. And if I right click and go into it, here we are in Visual Studio and you'll see where it's called trigger counter and it's trigger counter verse. We're just going to hit control a and delete now i'm just going to go ahead and get the verse code that i've already written and i'm going to go control a and control c and then we'll come in here and just go control v and verse is i've noticed in in my limited time with it that it's right on top of you if you make any error so if you don't see any red lines that's usually a good sign so and i don't see any red lines here basically what we've done here is this is very similar to the kill counter we put in a trigger device here and then we are activating it down here on triggered and then down here we're just incrementing it to so it's very similar to the killer counter, except we've just swapped in the trigger device. So anyway, with that done, I'm gonna go back into, not there, but into my editor, and we'll go build uh, verse, build verse code. We don't get any errors. And then all we have to do is drag that into the scene, our verse device. And then over here, we'll hook up our trigger and I will show you, let me put this, make sure you got all this code on the screen. So there's these modules that you have to add, temporary UI, UI. So be sure to add those. And then I'll scroll all the way up here so you can see the complete code. So that's all the code there that you need to know on the, on the screen. Go line by line and it'll start making sense as you go through it, like here, this is a triggered event on triggered event. Then we go, it's calling here using the subscribe and then it's down here on triggered and then all this logic prints out. So it increments and then it 
prints it, and then it updates. So hopefully that all is clear. So anyway, let's go back into here. Once we have this linked up, that's all we have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the session and then we'll come in and you'll see how this all works. So I'll come back as soon as this is done loading up. Okay, so we're back and it, it started and this is just very, very simple, but I want to show you how this is could be the beginning of using the verse to actually add, expand your functionality here. So we'll go start game and we just have, see, it says up on top there, time's triggered. So I just cross here. One, two, three. It just keeps going and going every time I cross the trigger. So then the logic of this, I'm going to escape now that you've seen that. If we come into our code down here on triggered is where we could add then some logic right down here on triggered. I mean, we could create a, uh, a method and, and call the method from here. We could create a function and, and call it, but we could, if we wanted to just put some logic in here, this is what we would do. We just go if else right here and just put in our logic. So if triggered so many times, the trigger count is greater than five, then whatever you know, whatever else you wanted to do. So that's how you could program in some logic here that you wouldn't be able to necessarily do with the other devices. So that's where this all starts coming into play. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.